On the morning of October 9, 2024, it was announced that Dr. Lee Wei Ling, the only daughter of Singapore's founding Prime Minister, Lee Kuan Yew, had passed away at the age of 69. Her younger brother, Mr. Lee Xian Yang, shared the heartbreaking news in a Facebook post, revealing that Dr. Lee died at home. This marks a solemn moment for Singapore, as Dr. Lee Wei Ling had been a significant figure not only as the daughter of the nation's founder but also as a respected medical professional in her own right. Dr. Lee had been diagnosed in 2020 with progressive supranuclear palsy, PSP, a rare neurological disorder that severely affects movement and coordination. It is a condition that impairs balance, speech, and body movements, and ultimately leads to more serious complications, including pneumonia and death. In her public post about her illness, Dr. Lee was upfront about her diagnosis, likening the disease to Parkinson's, though it was much rarer and more aggressive. Despite the challenges, she displayed her trademark resilience, facing her illness with bravery and stoicism, a quality her brother fondly remembers. Her brother, Mr. Lee Xian Yang, reflected on her character, recalling a time during their father's funeral in 2015 when Dr. Lee, in the face of immense grief, declared that she could not break down and cry because, as she put it, I am a hacker woman. Even in the face of personal hardship, she remained composed and dignified, characteristics that defined her life. In his tribute, Mr. Lee Xian Long, Singapore's former prime minister and Dr. Lee's elder brother, shared touching memories of their childhood. He remembered comforting her when she cried on her first day of kindergarten and highlighted her brilliance in school, where she received double promotions and eventually won a prestigious president's scholarship. She initially aspired to be a veterinarian, but after encouragement from her parents, she pursued a career in medicine, excelling in her field and becoming a leading pediatric neurologist, specializing in epilepsy. Throughout her career, she showed dedication to her patients and was always the doctor in the family. Dr. Lee's life was one of compassion, loyalty, and integrity. Even though she lived her final years quietly at the Lee family home at 38 Oxley Road, her legacy lives on through her work and the lives she touched. Mr. Lee Xian Long also noted that despite personal family conflicts over the 38 Oxley Road property, he held no resentment towards her and continued to care for her as best as he could. Dr. Li Wei Ling's passing marks the end of an era, as she was one of the few remaining direct links to Singapore's founding leader, Li Kuan Yew. Her contributions to Singapore, both in medicine and as a public figure, will long be remembered. In place of flowers, the family has requested that donations be made to Canossa Mission Singapore, Parkinson Society Singapore, and Total Wellbeing SG Limited. We encourage you to share your thoughts on Dr. Lee Wei Ling's contributions to Singapore. What do you think is her most impactful legacy? Please feel free to share your views in the comments below. If you found this news coverage insightful, do consider giving us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more detailed news. Your engagement helps us bring you thoughtful, in-depth reporting on important events. Thank you for watching 2230.